So this, uh, the, this kind of, of change in the, in the uh, political orientation and the social and the economic orientation of Egypt and the change in the meaning of, uh, of religion uh, have brought to my mind a lot of questions. Okay. These questions grow up with me until I, uh, I started to study in the university. Uh, and I started to study, you know, Islamic studies. And so, so my, my, my basic question was about, you know, the, the meaning of the Quran. Okay. Uh, how far the meaning of the Quran could be manipulated. Uh, this is annoying for, for, for me. Uh, I believed in, in the message of Islam as a message of equality and justice, you know, uh, uh, and all this, uh, this, this stuff. Uh, because as, as someone from an ordinary poor family, I needed this, you know. So this was my first, you know, uh, so I, 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 I embarked in Islamic study by checking the, the different schools of interpretation in Islamic, uh, in Islamic in classical Islamic uh, thought. Uh, I, well, I finish, you know, a study, I come with more questions. <laughs> Okay, until now, so <laughs> questions are always are always coming back. Uh, it was uh, it was surprising and shocking in the meantime to find how the meaning of uh, of the Quran was also subject to manipulation by different theological uh, theological school. And they wrote about this about about uh, about the strategy of uh, of, of of you know getting what you want. From, uh, uh, from the Quran, not really looking what the Quran signify, okay? Uh, and I think this is something that happened in the history of every scripture, okay? You can find whatever you want, okay, in scripture. If you don't apply a rigorous, you know, uh, definition of what it is, what is the limitation? So from question to question, I came to the question, what is the Quran? I mean, uh, so I, I, was, I was working on, on, on two levels most of the time. I mean, classical exegesis and classical methodology of approaching the Quran and the conflicting views uh, concerning the meaning of the Quran, especially dealing with uh, highly theological issues like, uh, like free will, human free will, uh, like, you know, transcendency of, of God, uh, 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 like social justice, uh, okay, all this. The, these issues, and in the meantime, studying deeply, uh, you know, Islamic philosophy and Islamic theology, in a critical way. Okay, so you you can say something about being, you know, uh, a responsible person in, in in an early stage of my life, have uh, contributed to uh, uh, to 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 elaborate my critical my critical viewpoint. I don't have a father to impose on me, you know, something like that. So it's, uh, and in the meantime, Egypt at that time, uh, the availability of knowledge, even outside, you know, educational system, the translation of books, uh, there was an availability of, of, of knowledge that you can gain books with very, very low, you know, price. Okay, this was also a cultural, uh, a cultural uh, renaissance. Uh, uh, in Egypt. Uh, this also enhanced this, you know, critical view of life. You read at that time, okay, uh, you read, uh, you know, uh, existentialism, uh, you read socialism, uh, Marxism, uh, okay, all these kind of philosophies are in Arabic, uh, trans Arabic translation. You read literature of the world, okay, the Russian uh, literature, the French literature, the Egyptian, the Arab literature. So this kind of richness, uh, because of the availability, okay, and I was really, uh, re reading was the only hobby I had, okay. So I think, I think life experience, the availability of, of knowledge, before I, I, I get embarked in, in, in university education, because I get to university education later, okay, I have to work. So, uh, so this, you know, I, I think this, you know, what, what really gave me this kind of, you know, being able to question, not being afraid 
of questioning. Okay, and all this, this, this life, I have never felt any kind of threat to my faith. On the contrary, I feel my faith becomes stronger, okay, uh, as far as I'm very critical. Uh, uh, I think this is, that's why I believe in life experience. And I believe, as a teacher here, okay, as a teacher, I never uh, imposed my view as a teacher on my student. I never judged my students in the examination according to the agreement or disagreement with me. I encourage, I used to encourage in Egypt, and of course I, it's easier in Europe, <laughs> to encourage a student to have counter, counter view. But I used to do this in Egypt, okay? And I'm glad I did because when, when all these problems came out about my work and you know, all this, you know, allegation of apostasy, at least my student, okay, who graduated, you know, some 10 years ago or 15 years ago, were like, you know, found it, you know, very, 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 because they know me, they know that, you know, uh, this makes me a, a, a defender of, of reason, a, defen a defender of critical, uh, 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 critical study of everything. Uh, a defender of, you know, of, of dialogue and conversation. And as much as I am, as I am anti-fundamentalism in religion, I am anti-fundamentalism in any other uh, uh, system of thought. Uh, let's say secularism could be a fundamentalist secularism. <laughs> Liberalism could be a fundamentalist. Any, 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 any claim of holding the truth against other claims, I consider a form of fundamentalism. And I taught a course in the university about fundamentalism in all worldly views. Uh, so I hope, I, ho I, hope, I hope this explains, you know, who I am. Uh, whether, I mean, of course, uh, when I'm, I'm also should say something, I learn a lot from my student. And I believe in the future uh, and I encourage I stood my students to be critical of my, uh, because without this kind of continuous criticism, uh, thought would not really develop, okay? I, I don't want it to be, uh, you know, a charisma to be imitated. I don't want it to be uh, an imam, okay? I'm just, you know, a scholar uh, that doing my best, but what I, any conclusion I reach, should be tested, should, should be checked, okay? And sometimes I'm very, very happy to read in my student dissertation, MA and PhD, uh, criticism of my thought. I encourage, you know, this kind of, of criticism. No one should claim, you know, this kind of absolute knowledge. Uh, otherwise, we will create another fundamentalist.